Ashwajubala Ahmed Tinumbu, the national leader of the All Progressive Congress (APC), says he is ready to fight dirty in his quest to become the president of Nigeria. Tinumbu spoke when he visited Lake Ombalogu, the Olubadon designate, on Sunday at his residence in Alarere, Ibadan. According to NAN, Tinumbu visited Balogu to seek his blessings and the support of the Ibadan people on his presidential bid. The presidential aspirant expressed his readiness and determination to succeed, saying no intimidation or blackmail can stop him from pursuing his quest for the presidency. According to him, this period is historical and a reminder of history. Each time a Yoruba wants to be president, issues are raised, questions are asked and all sorts of hang-ups are encountered, Snubu said. We are at a crossroad. People are volunteering to confront me when they were asked who would confront the lion of Bodilon. I'm out to become the president of Nigeria. No intimidation, no blackmail can stop me. I have read about a Greek philosopher that if you want to fight a pig, you must be ready to be smeared, and I'm ready to be dirty. Balogu, who spoke through Kola, his brother, said the current situation in the country calls for a leader that will strengthen its unity. The Olubadon designate said he had known Tinumbu for a long time and as the governor who laid the foundation of the present Lagos. Yorubas are the leading light of Nigeria. Our people contributed a lot to make Nigeria what it is and without the Yorubas, Nigeria cannot be where it is today, Balogun said. But it is very sad to note the to your tent, O Israel, that has of recent become the song of the people. We are looking forward to a Yoruba president that will further strengthen and unite the country come 2023. We need a leader that has national focus and acceptability. The road may be rough, but by God's grace, you will triumph. So, there goes the blessing given by the Olubado designate to Ashiwajubola Ametinombo when he visited. Now, the tone of Ashiwaju in this, you know, conversation he had with the Olubado is very strong. Now he has come out to let us know that he's not here to joke this time around. He's here for real. And as he has always said previously, that it has always been his life ambition to be the president of Nigeria. So with this tone of ready to fight dirty, ready to be smeared like a pig, what more should we expect from the fondly called Lion of Bodilon? So when the lions roar, what should we do? So all those who are confronting Tinumbu now, are they ready to face the lion of Bodilon? Is the seat of the presidency so um, desirous that Tinumbu is not going to care whatever it is, whatever it takes him to become the president of Nigeria? So many politicking has been going on and more games are still going to be reviewed in the next coming days, months, as we move towards the 2023 presidency. So who is ready to fight with Bola Metinumbu and the mod? That's the one billion dollar question that people have been asking since this came out. And of course, there's been clapbacks about, oh, that means that, you know, presidency should not just be a do or die. Presidency should be you at this time of, you know, the struggles we have in Nigeria, speaking hope, sharing how you want to combat the issues of secure insecurity, the issues of inf high inflation, the issues of um, ritualism, the, ritual, the issues of, you know, um, very crazy foreign exchange rates and all of that. Those are the sounds of hope that Nigerians want to hear those are the models we want to see the genuinity in our leaders or so oncoming leaders not the tone of ready to fight dirty so let's see how it plays out in the next couple of days but like i always say on this channel 
let us build a Nigeria that we'll all be very proud of again as we await the other lions that will be ready to fight the lion of Bodilon. We hope that it won't be violence filled. We hope that it will be more of intellectual fights, not physical or loss of lives and property. God bless Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next news. Please drop your comments in the comment section below and remember to like, share and subscribe. Bye for now.